Hey everybody, it's Caleb, back with another video, and the reason I haven't posted in two weeks is because I've been working on four different channels. Um, one of them is a second channel for me that's not out yet, but it will be coming soon, and three other channels I've been working on. But basically, that's why I haven't been posting. Also, I've been filming, I haven't been filming aircraft, but I have still been playing in this world, so let's explore the shopping district so far. So this is my shop, I took down the kelp shop idea. And yeah, these cost one stack for three iron. So yeah, that's pretty good. And this one, 30 stacks for one diamond. And that's stone, not cobblestone, which is really hard to get. This new shop just popped up today. And looks like there's nothing in it yet. But we changed the shop prices, so I'll have to tell them about that. Yeah, so their shop is going to have... They're either going to have to pay the correct price or take their shop down. But anyway... I got an elytra because I went end rating, and I got the toad move and dying from um, from doing a raid, a normal raid. And yeah, this is my mega base so far. Um, this is all we have done so far. And basically we have obsidian and emeralds around my bedroom. And we have a bunch of shulker boxes. This one is full of bones. This one's full of enchanted books. This one is full of leather armor, iron armor, spare tools, chain armor, and I have a bunch of extra diamonds and a fortune three pickaxe. Um, yeah, and this one is my spare diamond stuff. This is for my horse, except I have a bunch of junk in there too. That's my gold. Um, this is random junk, and that's random junk too. But anyway, I got an iron golem too, and I have that. A spare diamond, spare diamond, and two extra enchanted swords. Sergeant Thomas is my iron golem. And as you can see, I have a lot of raid banners because I think our thing is glitched. And the raids and the pillager patrols come a lot. So I get so many banners. But anyway, moving on, I have my sheep farm right here. And I am and I'm growing um, both wheat and carrots. And we got a nautilus or conduit right there. Now up here, how do I get out? Okay, so right here, this is Atlantis, which is what I call um, Ashenbush Five's base because we worked on it together. It's the Atlantis Octagon project because mine's a big octagon and his it is Atlantis. And yeah. This is the waiting room when you come down in. And I did a prank. I put like 20 of those in his base. But he do he got rid of most of them. I don't know why he got didn't get rid of all those. But he has a bunch of spare bows. And that's all his stuff. He has a lot. He has two diamonds. He has a lot of iron too. Um, That's his smelter room in there. And yeah, this is the way out. It's not finished. We're still working on it together. But this is the villager farm we share. So we have the farmer there. And he can trade carrots. Yeah, I might do this trade. Nah. And then we have Yo Mama here. That's what he named him. Uh -huh. um, and he's our librarian. And we like that because we can get enchanted books from him. We, where's the minecart? Oh yeah, it was up there, wasn't it? So now I'm going to have to walk all the way up. Dang it. And now I'm up. Let's push the button so that the minecart goes back down. And yeah. Then we have this pathway along here. And up there is my cave base. Um, up here. My starter base. And you guys have already probably seen that. But I have a lot more stuff in here now. Nothing much. This kind of junk chest. Except I have so many arrows and a bunch of enchanted bows. And a few tridents. Then I have my strip mine down there. Strip mine and dive mine. Um, but I won't show that because it's pretty boring. But that's how I got all my diamonds down there. And I, yeah, the toad of and dying from the raid. And this is Super Ninja Carson's base. Right here. That I'm walking by. What is in it? He has his first diamond and the pickaxe he used to mine it with right here. And... Yeah, this is pretty much it. He has beds, a couple of chests, and a secret painting that's very obvious. And it goes to the nether. So, I'll go to the nether for you guys. Boom. I'm in the nether. That's 
we have four different portals, one for everyone. The glass one is for Ashen Bush 5 because he has underwater wood for Carson, Super Ninja Carson. What is that gravel doing? But anyway, um, concrete for me, and then the, the stone for Super Ninja Ryan because he has a castle base that he's working on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't have much in the nether, just our portals. But yeah, let me head up here. We have a fortress immediately over there. That's what we found. That's where we found the fortress. It's right there near spawn. So we didn't move our portals towards the fortress, but we're back at my base and I haven't shown, shown you down here yet. So if you come down here, we have bubble elevators and I have my frost walker boots, but I'm not gonna put them on because there's water down here. And yeah, I'm still working on this horse pen, as you can see those die right. But I have my horse, my full enchanted enchantment table. That, that's going to be my brewing over there. But And then I also have my dogs. So yeah, I can ride my horse out through the bubble elevator that's that I built right here. And it just shoots you up. And you get the Nautilus effect, the conduit effect. And yeah, I'm going to ride my horse back. Kind of hard to do all these maneuvers and stuff. Why can I not jump? Okay, there we go. How does that not? Okay. And yeah, we ride through here. And then we fall through this hole. And then he can go through here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And you come up here. I have my anvil over there too. And this is my portal. I got all the all the banners there and the two banners above my bed. Now let's move on to Super Ninja Ryan's base. This is the base that we remodeled. Um, yeah, so the, we remodeled this inside room, except he's changed it a bit. Um, he got rid of that painting and he made that entrance and he made, yeah, that painting's still there. But he also has this entrance that he made down here, which is his nether portal. And, ooh, 12 diamonds and a fortune pickaxe and silk touch. It's basically what I have. Um, I'm the richest person on the server, by the way. Always have been. Um, I was the first person to get diamonds, too. Um, but yeah, he has all this stuff. And if you're wondering, those enchantments down there, you if you rewind, you can see them. Um, but yeah, he has full enchant enchantment table, too. Ah, this is always hard to get out of. But, I think I'm the only one on the server right now, so I don't think they'll care that I'm in their base. But up here, this is the castle he's working on. He has a giant staircase leading up to it, and a trapdoor at the top. And it's filled with snow, but this is all stone, right? Oh, I almost fell off. Yeah, this is all stone. But, yeah, let's head back down. Ow. Okay. Um, over here... I've seen a bunch of people's bases, or two people's bases. Right here, this is Rosie One's base. Yeah, he has a dog. That's pretty cool. And a furnace and a crafting table. That's pretty much it. He just joined also. Um, and then Meals and Wheels has only been on once, that one episode. And her base is over here. Somewhere, yeah, right up there. She already has a horse, so maybe she has been on another time. But she has this dirt hut right here. And, yeah, this is her base. Ooh, she has a diamond. I did not know that. But anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, my elytra isn't broken. And yeah, this is Dill Pickles base right here. This little cave. And he has a cat. Cool. Do not enter unless I give you permission. Well, um, too bad, dude. Because I'm entering. Ooh, he has a new room. No, he doesn't. Okay, he has two doggies. That's cool. And an anvil. And eight furnaces. Bunch of chests. Are these all empty? Oh no, random stuff. 13 diamonds? Huh, that's cool. Um, iron stuff, and a bunch of cobblestone and stuff. Okay, let's head back up here. 
Oh yeah, this is how we get all our bones and stuff and levels. It's our skeleton farm that we found, and then I turned it into the farm. Um, it's down here at the very bottom of the staircase. Let me head down here. Ow. But I made the staircase, and I did um, the design for the skeleton farm. And there's our lava we can chuck a bunch of the bows in. I still haven't done that. But yeah, we can just kill them here. It's really fast, actually, even though it's only one spawner. But I won't bother chucking the bows into the lava because we're on the tour, and you guys probably don't want to watch me do that. So yeah, I probably won't be filming more aircraft videos. Um, I know I've had like three series and just stopped doing all of them. But I think I'm going to do more Minecraft challenges and playing um, different mini games on the Hive. Like Murder Mystery, Treasure Wars, Death Run, things like that. And also occasional skits because I did a poll and you guys said you wanted to see more Minecraft videos, not skits. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that. Um, but... I will do skits, so don't worry. I'm still going to do those. Anyway, over here, continuing the tour. It's my, no, it's not broken. I can't fly. There we go. Ooh, snow. I might need that. Let's kill the zombie really quickly. And I'm going to take the snow, because I do need that. Boom. Um, oh, zombie again. Did I not just kill you? Okay. Um, but anyway, down here, we have Rex's base. And he just modified a villager's base, um, or villager's house. Oh yeah, PvP arena. I haven't showed you guys that yet, so I'll go do that. He has his farms and a cat and a dog. So yeah, but now I'm going to go show you the PvP arena, which is over here. It's that cobblestone building right there. Um, and yeah, let me eat because I'm hungry. And yeah, it's this cobblestone building. I built this too. Um, and it's a mini game. It costs a diamond to enter, and we host tournaments sometimes. Um, but when no one's entered, then I'm not going to enter. But, um, yeah, there's a bunch of traps. If you want to read these signs, just pause the video. But this is the hot potato game. It's If you've seen Hermitcraft, it's based on that. It's the hot potato game in Hermitcraft. But you can re read all these signs if you pause the video. Okay, now moving on. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!